Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at what TestFlight is and how we can use it to get users to help us test our SwiftUI apps. So what is TestFlight? Well TestFlight is a tool that allows developers to easily share builds with external and internal users before they actually submit an app build. TestFlight can be useful for devs since you can validate ideas, find bugs and also get a general feel of what your application will look like on the App Store. Now in order to use TestFlight You'll need to upload a build to App Store Connect first and if you want to learn more about how to do this then check out my previous video showing you how to upload an app to the App Store. Let's get straight into this though. So what I'm going to use for this example is the test project that I used in the previous video. So as you can see I'm actually logged into App Store Connect and I actually have a build here that I've actually submitted for app review. But what we want to do is go to the test flight. And within test flight you'll see that i have one build here that i've actually uploaded now there's actually two types of builds that you can do and that is internal testing and external testing and they both serve different purposes let's break this down so when looking at builds there's two types of builds there's internal and this is where there are users that can test your build if they're already part of your team and the limit for internal testers is 100 and in order to make someone a part of your team you'll actually need to invite them via the users and access tab in app store connect and give them a role that you want in terms of the access of what they can you know access and the second type that you can have is external and this means that you can invite anyone to a build using their email but it's worth noting that there's a 10k limit on users and you'll need to submit a build to apple first for them to review and then once it's been approved you'll be able to share it with users using their email address so let's go back into app store connect and then what we're going to do is we're going to first of all look at how we can work with internal testing so in internal testing i'm just going to give this a group name and this is the group for where users that are part of our team on app store connect can access this build so first of all users for external and internal testers will need to download the test bar, test flight app onto their ios device so let's create this and now you'll see that we have two new groups and this group here called internal testers. So in this group I want to, I can actually select this button and actually add people into this group. And once they get added, they will get an email telling them the steps that they need to do to actually download the build using TestFlight on their device. So you definitely want to make sure that you invite users on this tab here for internal builds. Now the next group that we have here is external testing. I'm just going to create this now. And one thing to note is that I've just given these group names like dummy names because obviously for the purpose of this video, it's not important. But if you're someone who is actually doing this properly, then give it a proper name. So one thing that you can do here is you can actually add testers that are actually in your team as well. And you can also submit a build by hitting the plus button and selecting a build here and then choosing next. And then you can fill out your information here, say tons at. And if they, if they need to actually sign in to review this build when you submit it, you actually do want to provide them with an account. Now for this app there isn't, so I'm just gonna hit next. And then what we can do is if our build is approved for testers, then what we can do here is actually have notes notifying our testers who are testing this build, what is new in this build if it passes submission. Now I know for a fact that this is gonna get rejected. So, but if it wasn't rejected, then what would happen is that this would actually get pushed to test flight and then users would actually get access to this build. So where you would actually add testers with the external testing, if you hit the plus button here, you'll see that you actually have options to add existing testers and new testers. So if I choose add new testers, you can now see that I actually have a form here where I can actually fill out someone's email, first name and last name, and they will be added to the list of people that can test my builds. And you can see that we have 10,000 slots available to us. So when this build passes, pause. so if this build was to pass submission, then you'd actually get instructions via an email 
that for that person to actually how they can download the build onto their device similar to the internal testing one more thing that i want to go over in test flight is the feedback that you're actually able to get from users so what you can do is if the application crashes while someone's actually testing your application what users can do is actually submit crashes so you can actually view them in app store connect and download the dsims to see where that crash happened another thing that users can do as well is actually provide you with screenshot feedback on your application whilst they're testing as well so you can actually receive feedback whilst users in the wild are actually using your application to make sure that you've not got really any bugs and everything is working and looking great or you can use to get feedback on ways to actually improve a feature as well. Finally, before we wrap up this video, what we can also do as well is provide our users with information about the builds that they're testing. So if you actually had a build with features that you wanted to let users know actually exist in this build, you can actually put that in the test information within your application here, as well as in more information relating to your build on test flight. Now, when it actually goes into app review, you can actually have a default review notes for test testers on Apple's side to make sure that they always do certain things when your application is being reviewed and if you need to fill out the license agreement then you could fill that out but as you can see with test flight it's a great tool that you can use as almost like a you know pilot episode before you actually go live onto the app store so this is great and really useful so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed this video I'd really love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.